Today in America, we suffer from fear of radical groups willing to give their lives and countless others for their cause. A cause that gives endless power to few and cuts off basic civil rights to others. We as a nation cannot break, we cannot bend, we cannot give in, we have to win. My American dream is not to create violence, it is to abolish it. But if one can't come without the other, then we shall use both to achieve my and many others' ultimate goal. Gandhi said it best. It is better to be violent if there is violence in our hearts than to put on the cloak of nonviolence than to cover impotence. Does this sound like being nonviolent? Quanite, Iraq. Fuel tanker explodes, killing 798 people. Done by Al Qaeda. Manhattan, New York, 2001. Two jetliners are flown into the Twin Towers, killing 2,998 people. Done by Al Qaeda. Just to prove a point. But in another fashion, the way I see it, we are in the middle of three possible responses to these actions. There is pull out, which will let them run wild. There is occupy, which we're doing right now. We have a presence, but at what cost? People still die. They're human, just like you and me. Then there's the last option, which in my opinion, is the worst. I'm talking about decimating them. Making life so hard for them they will not be able to fight back. There is another option though, and it is not typically thought of. We turn the people against them, and in return, we provide help. If we turn an entire village into informants, that's people that do not only have to stay there, but they want to stay there. In return, we provide a chance for a better way of life. In theory, it is a win-win. We will help good people, and in return, they will help us find the bad. I agree with Nancy Durant in that the future isn't a place we go. It is a world that we create. I truly believe we can do this. I truly believe we have the power, the tools, and the strength. I truly believe that if we give it a wholehearted shot, we can pull it off. I truly believe that if we band together, nothing can stop us. I truly do believe that the groundwork has been laid and that all we need is you. God bless the American dream.